Hi, this is Sherri Ann Richardson from experimentalhomesteader.com. And what you're looking at is an old milk can that I have had sitting in my garden for a number of years. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a fall arrangement with this. And I'm also going to be incorporating an item that I did receive for review. Um, these starry string lights. I did receive these items for free or at a reduced price in exchange for my honest review. All opinions are my own, of course. Now, the other items I did receive for free or at a reduced price, but they were not for review. Um, they were just items that I picked up in order to be able to do this. As I said, the uh, milk can was given to me and has been around here for years. So, I'm going to get started. Um, I think the first thing we're going to do is I picked up these uh, twigs and I believe these are off of a curly willow, although I'm not 100% positive about that. Um, it did not actually say what these came from, but that's my best guess. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sit down here and I'm going to add some of these starry string lights um, to the willow branches. They do come in a packet like this. Um, so two in a packet. There is a whole box of these. So lots of different things you can do with them. And I'm just going to open this up. And they look like this. Um, they do unroll. So it comes in a roll like this and you could use it just like that if you wanted. Um, by just turning the switch on. But if you don't, and I don't, then you can uncurl these and you can put them on what you want. So that's what I'm going to do here. Let's just go ahead and undo these. This copper wire is really nice because it makes it easy to be able to twine around whatever you want. And I'm gonna start right here at the top of this branch, maybe a little bit down. And I'm just going to twist this and twine it. I'm not trying to get this too close together just um, getting it started is the hard part because I do have like all this all this material to work with so like I said I'm just going to twist it like this it's easiest to twist the branch I think and I'm going to do all of these and then we'll be right back Okay, so I have added three strands of the potential six strands of lights that I could have added. I'm gonna go ahead and start adding in my other materials. Now this, these are mini miniature pumpkins and they're actually styrofoam, but you can grow this plant if you want. It's called pumpkin on a stick. And these are silk leaves that I chose to use. If you're using real leaves, I would suggest waxing them first before you use them and what I'm doing is just twining some of the leaves around the pumpkins to give it a bit more natural look and make the leaves stand in the direction that I want them to stand in okay and I'm going to put this off to one side I think I'm going to put it off over this way I want it kind of tall not real tall, but kind of tall. So there you go. Okay, now I can play with these leaves a little more and like I said, keep twisting them until I get them facing the way that I want them and everything's looking like I want. And then I have uh, three sunflowers that of course are different colors. And I also have this mum. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to insert these. Now I did have to use multiple pieces of styrofoam in this, but that's okay. Um, 
it was a little tricky and it did take a little bit to get the styrofoam to stay where I wanted and I did have to hold it as I was pushing other pieces in uh, but that's to be expected like I said so I want this kind of back I'm just going to bend that stem to get where I want it want this one a little lower and off to the side I think and then I'm going to put this pretty yellow one. Now I could cut these two, but I'm not. I'm keeping my stems long. And the reason for that choice is if I decide I want to do something else, my stems are not cut. Okay, And just adjusting as I go. Um, that one does not want to stay where I want it. So I will try it in a different piece of styrofoam. And like I said, these pieces of styrofoam are wanting to shove down I could have put some newspaper or something in to help prevent that. I just chose not to. Um, and we'll just adjust as I go um, until everything is just the way I want it. And then I have this mom. I want to put it right up here in the front. Then I'm going to pull some of my sunflowers back up because we all know sunflowers are taller than mums. And then what I have, um, and you could just go outside and get this, especially if you're growing any of it. This is just a dried grass. And then I also have some dried wheat. And I'm just going to put this in and fill it around, being very careful because these stems are very fragile. Anytime you're working with dried material, a gentle touch is really important. These are really easy to cut if I want to, but like I said, I, I probably will not. Oops, that one snapped off. See, you do have to be really careful. So I'm going to continue filling in with my dried materials. And then we will be back to take a look at the finished product. Okay, so I have this done. And I did end up with a bit of a mess. Um, of course, some of my pieces broke, which is pretty well a given. I was, however, to work those pieces into the overall design, which was great. And now we're going to pan, and I'm going to show you what this looks like. Okay, here we go. Gorgeous sunflowers, pumpkins, everything that you would need or expect in a fall arrangement. And of course, you have lighting to boot. So overall, I'm really, really happy with this design. You can see the leaves back there, and I may go back there and mess with those leaves and bring them a little more towards the front. I really like the way the grass and the wheat has filled this in. Um, of course, I may end up rearranging um, and setting this a little bit differently because it's pointed a little towards my front door, just a little much. Um, but that's okay, and it's not perfectly in center either but again that's okay because I'm very very happy with the way this turned out um, very easy to do and if you have your milk can this entire project actually cost under $50 for me um, like I said I did get the one item for review everything else was discounted or free um, but if you look around at your craft stores you can find good sales especially right now on your fall decorations and be sure to look after the season too because they put things way down on discount afterwards and you can go ahead and get it put it in a tote and save it until next year because it definitely will come in handy that goes clear to the top like you can see um so anyway guys uh i hope you'll give me a thumbs up thumbs down if you must uh comments below i will definitely be putting this on the blog with the uh step-by-step -step written instructions for those of you that are interested please subscribe i'm trying to reach 5,000 subscribers by the end of 2016 and i really need your help and be sure to share on social media i really do appreciate when you do that 
Uh, thanks for watching and have a great night.